And today I'm here to show you how I created this look. It's a date night kind of something. So yeah, who say you can dress up for your boyfriend inside? I know it's quarantine and everything, but we still gotta look for our boyfriend in the quarantine. Nobody say we can't do that. We staying home and we looking all cute for our boyfriends before he say he going by the grocery and then he never come back. Okay. <laughs> By the way, um, before I get into the video, I want to know how you're doing, like how this quarantine treating you all. How? I mean, this quarantine have me here dressing up for nobody at home. If you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned for the good Watch stuff. Watch the whole video, like it, get some popcorn, watch it, like it, comment if you want comment again. And yeah, let me, let me do the thing. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows offline. Today I'm using the Morphe palette 3503. So I'm starting with my first color. It's a light orange. Yes, then I'm blending that really well. Blend it until you're not seeing any harsh lines. Mm -hmm. Next, you're going in with a darker orange to give it that light to dark effect. So using the light medium and dark yeah yes now we are going in with our medium orange and we're placing that right under the second orange there that's above the crease area and it blending that really well into it to give that a nice highlighted color so the orange will more or less highlight the darker color so your lighter color will highlight your darker color so now I'm going back in with my second color just to brush off any excess and to blend that brown really well into that orange in case it went above it or whatever. And you just blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it until you're not seeing that harsh, solid line. Yeah? Mm hmm I feel it myself, feel it myself. Now I'm going in with my crease color and that's a dark brown and I'm blending that into the crease. Yes. So I'm doing that on both sides and just blending it, blending. If you realize my brush is smaller, so my brush is going smaller and smaller by each color, you know. I'm now going back to the top there and just blending off. Yeah. So every ever so often I'll go back and just blend in my colors to ensure that it's showing up properly. So I'm going in with my gold and I'm really blending that well. I'm making sure my two colors meet because that is the crease area. You don't want the two colors to separate from one another. You know, and you just blend it. Take your time. Yeah, so you blend that really well and you must always watch to see if each eye is appearing the same way. So you want, you don't want too much on the side and then nothing on the side. So you're more or less trying to balance it. I mean, they are not twins, they are sisters, but you still balance the look so it wouldn't look off. Look me, I was eating. <laughs> and I will tune away. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, they clumsy. Don't study that. Yeah, then I'm going in with my foundation and dabbing it all over. Yeah, I'm not trying to put too much, but I'm dabbing it enough. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Yeah. So I'm going in with my flat brush and I'm working the foundation into my skin. I'm not, I'm not dabbing too much to remove any of the products, but I'm just pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling to get that even balance on my face. Don't forget your ears, nor do you forget your neck area and under your chin because all that is a part of your face. See ya? I sprayed my beauty blender and now I'm going it to give it a matte finish and yeah look at it mm -mm. so now i'm going in with my eddie girl pro concealer in the shade fawn yeah so you see i didn't go past my nose 
Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm basically doing my T zone area, putting my highlighter all over there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Remember, when you're going down your nose, you're using the side of the brush to get a thinner line. So you're drawing a straight line down your nose there. Mm hmm. On top the lip and now the T-zone area is completed. We are now going in with our damn beauty blender and blending that out. Remember you're not dabbing too much to remove any of the concealer. So you're more or less just slightly patting, patting, patting and working your way through to get it evenly blended. Yeah? So I'm about to draw my contour lines with my Sasha Cosmetic Foundation in the shade Ebony. Yes, yeah, so I'm going ahead and make my tree. When drawing that line, remember not to go too much onto the highlighter because, yeah, you just want everything to be where it's supposed to be. You're drawing that jawline there. On top of your forehead. And just connecting the lines. I also make my smile lines. Then draw a line above my chin highlight on top of my forehead there for a smaller forehead appearance. I'm blending it with my beauty blender on the flat side and I'm working my way up into my highlight. So I'm repeating that step on the other side, working my way up into the concealer, ensuring there are no harsh lines there. So you're just working it. Don't forget these smile lines. Yeah. Remember when you reach the jawline, you're bringing the contour down. And your forehead, you're going back into your hairline. Yeah. And blend it. I sprayed my beauty blender and went back in to ensure that both sides are looking the same. Yeah, just blending it out properly. Mm -hmm. I'm now going in to set my concealer that's the t-zone area I'm using my finger so I'll maintain that straight line Now I'm going in with my contour. Yeah. Next I'm going in with my regular face powder, applying it on the spots apart from the T-zone area. It's important for your entire face to be powdered to prevent any creasing or any products shifting and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sing girl sing. Next, I'm going in with my brush and dusting off my satin powder. That's my T-zone area. Then I'm using my damn beauty blender to blend that evenly. I always blend my nose last. Next, I'm going in with my Ruby Kiss Contour Powder, putting it at the side of my nose using my small angle br brush. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, just working that, blending that properly. Yeah, always go in with my beauty blender to blend that the correct way. Next, I'm going in in my contour areas and just brushing that contour out. Okay, sis, I'm all up in that.
Kanto. Yes. Uh, yes, girl. Focus. Focus. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going back in with my natural face powder between those two lines there to give it a natural highlight. So I'm using my same eyeshadow palette to do my blush and my bronzer. I'm using my angle brush and I'm working it right above my contour area there and the bronzer going above the blush. Yeah, and just working that in. Don't forget to bronze your nose. Yeah. So brush that out real quick. Blend that. Yes, sis. Mm. So I went back in and blend that area into my contour. Next, I'm using my Essence Mascara. Yeah, that spot needed to blend. So I'm blend. Oh, I'm blending that. Yes. I'm giving this life here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally have no eyelashes and that mascara gives me life. So we are on to the challenging part and it's really difficult to tape this. So I'ma try. I'ma try. <laughs> Oh, wait <laughs> then I'm going in with my eyeshadow black to brown just blending that in really well I use the medium brown Don't worry guys, I'm going to soon get this on camera for y'all. Next, back in with my mascara and dab that way, work that true. Yes! Now I'm going in with my black Ellie Girl eyeliner and I'm drawing my underline. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she awesome? Now, this is my favorite part. We are going in with our burgundy lip eyeliner and we are lining our lips. Draw a straight line like this and then bring it out, uh, you know, not to give it that blonde, harsh look. So, you'll see what I mean. So, yeah, I'm drawing my line and then I'm kind of more or less just bringing it out, like, yeah, to blend it in properly. Usually what I'll do at this when I'm moisturizing my face, I'll put on a lip balm and when I'm ready to draw my liner, I'll take a piece of bounty or so and like more or less do the same thing that I'm doing now onto the bounty to get off the excess shine or whatever on it. I always use a darker color on the outside and a lighter color on the inside. By the way, this is Jordana Sweet Cream and this plum color works with basically every color. It looks so amazing and it stays on all day. Yeah, what I'm telling you, like all day. like comment she like comment she watch like comment she <laughs> ah, so you can get me on instagram at i am underscore onella facebook onella lawrence and well youtube onella lawrence email me at onella lawrence at gmail.com yeah i'll be here when looks you will just have to tell me what looks you want. Whatever you want and tell me. I'll try to do it.